hi in this video we are going to uh, talk about HTML tags actually in the previous videos I couldn't able to cover all those tags so I thought that I have to create a new video so that uh, I could cover all those uh, tags which are important for you and uh, couldn't able to cover right so before proceeding the video I would like to uh, say to you that uh, I have already few uh, concepts which already discussed before so actually I am going through uh, all these courses HTML CSS bootstrap JS uh, means JavaScript jQuery and PHP so this is totally practical training and uh, I am going to cover a complete web development into it right and even uh, in the advance I will also con uh, try to cover but uh, firstly I have to complete these uh, courses right uh, so I think if you haven't uh, right now we are at uh, HTML right so going to complete actually uh, HTML course so if you haven't uh, watched the previous videos you can go through this channel and you will find the list of all those videos which are in sequence and I think uh, those are really fruitful and I actually uh, implemented practically right so now let's start the uh, today's topic so the today's topic was uh, HTML tags so pre tag we are going to implement HR tag and div and label and nested tags and empty tags empty tags uh, I have actually one more slide of that empty tag means self closing tag means those tag which has no need of any closing tag for example you have break tag this has no need of uh, uh, any closing tag so BR has not any close tag right and uh, HR tag has not, image tag has not, input tag has not, link tag has not, meta tag and source tag. So all these tags has not the uh, closing tag because of which these are also called as empty tag, right? So we shall uh, cover all these. So from firstly what we have to do is pre tag. So what does pre tag means? For example, you have written a paragraph right here I am writing a story which is interesting right I want this as it is so that it look like a story and even and even consider as a separate paragraph separate paragraph right for example uh, I have written this particular text right so if you will see the output you will find that you will find that the output is something like this on the single line and once the uh, line has been completed then you will go to the next line but I don't want this I want what you know I want this text text as it is means same text so how I can make it same it is possible by pre tag so pre tag open and pre tag close right so once I, I write this then after if you will see the output you will find something like this means in which pattern I have written the same pattern would be in the output so that is possible because of pre tag so you can use pre tag if you want to maintain the sequence which you have uh, which you have implemented for example uh, you want to uh, you want to uh, you want to see the output in the same way which you in the same way as you have written as a text into the file so what you have to do is you have to use pre tag right for example you have some code and you want to show that code as it is rather on the single line or maybe sometimes you have to use uh, break tag 
because of that because in order to go to the new line you have needed break tag but if you don't want to use uh, multiple break tags uh, then you have to you have the option of pre tag right i think you got the concept of pre tag so this was the pre pre means as it is next is hr tag simple hr tag has the additional uh, feature which is you can say hr tag for example hr tag so hr tag means horizontal ruler right so if you will see the output you will find that horizontal ruler this will divide the text uh, in two parts right upper and lower so as many hr tags as you will uh, write down here those number of horizontal rulers would be generated for example i have created two so two horizontal rulers so sometimes we needed such type of lines so at that type at that time we we have the uh, option of horizontal ruler so this was horizontal ruler next is div tag so div tag is super simple that uh, sometimes we want to uh, we want to create a text in such a way that uh, it create a document in such a way that we want to divide some sections for example div this is a div open <coughs> and this is a div close for example you uh, want to write two articles right so in those two articles you want to uh, differentiate how you will differentiate differentiate means you want to separate those two articles so at that time uh, you have the option of div tag for example these are two div tags and this is another div so i am right now i am going to delete this horizontal ruler right so if you will see the output so these are the two paragraphs right this is the uh, one and this is another one so these are two different sections if you will see on the console screen you will also find out that these are the two divs separate divs this is one div and this is another div right one div and second div right so this way you can separate the uh, topics or maybe separate the sections of the screen by using div tag and even maybe in some sections you want to uh, do what you know you want to give the css for example in this div i want to style with background background yellow and in the uppermost i want this particular with yellow uh, sorry red right so now if you will see the output you will find out that sorry 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 what happened psc k background k is missing right so now if you will see so these are the two sections uh, which are made by div tags so this is one div and this is another div i have given the separate css to all to both of them right so in this way you can implement the div tags right now the next is label so this is also interesting i am going to delete this whole text because i have no more needed so for example i have an input tag in which i have type equal to type equal to checkbox for example checkbox and value equal to fruit right and here i have written fruit fruit right so if you will see on the output screen you will find out something like this right this is fruit you can check and uncheck right i think you are looking at it this is pretty clear from here right so now what i want is 
for example you may have seen that in uh, sometimes you click on this particular text and the checkbox uh, selected automatically so at that time what you have to do is you have to write here label tag label tag open and label tag close so now if you will find the output here if you will click this would be checked and if you will click uh, on the text that would also be checked so how this is working because of label tag so this is possible because of label tag if you will use that label tag around that particular input tag then at that time the text as well as the input uh, type that you have mentioned both would be uh, working right so this was all about label tag i think you got the concept and uh, maybe in the form you may have multiple input uh, tags so at that time <coughs> you can also use this label tag for the ease of the user as you know that if user would have a user is going to use your form so uh, you have to provide ease to select certain things right now this is nested tag actually i already uh, discussed nested nested tags in the previous example so for example div tag inside of div tag i had the pre tag and inside that pre tag i had the uh, paragraph tag and inside that paragraph tag i had uh, hr tag so that is nesting nesting means a parent tag and inside of that child tag and inside of that another child so in this way this is nested nested means something inside another thing right next is empty tags so empty tags i already mentioned to you that empty tags are here all these empty tags you can also read and you can also go through the internet and you will find out uh, so many tags uh, which has uh, not any close tag close tag what does it mean for example you may have not seen <coughs> something like for example break tag and then break tag open and break tag close so you may have not seen such type of things so in the sense break tag only we can uh, use open tag so this would be considered as the break tag rather mentioning the close tag means this has no need of any close tag and even hr tag and all those right so here is link tag input tag meta tag and source tag so all these has not the closing tag because of which these are ca called as self closing tag and empty tag so now there are i have a link if, from where you can see the tags right see the tags on the internet and uh, if you are interested to uh, go through all of them then you you have the option and even you can also go through the w3 schools so from there you will also find out all these things so here is the list of all those tags html5 tags <coughs> so from here you can also get the list so you would easily uh, practice one by one right so all these tags are here and here also so you can access all those right and these are also link link means you can use this so one last thing that i like to cover is uh, comment so in html we have the comment by open uh, open bracket bracket means angular bracket and not and then this dash dash and close means this and dash dash right so here is the comment means whatever you will write inside of it uh, you will find that this would be as a commented so this can be multiple multiple line so this is this is also multiple line comment right why because in multi uh, from where you are going to open and from where uh, you are going to end it 
before in between the text would be considered as a commented text means this would not be rendered or you can say that uh, compiled and not executed actually right this has no meaning this is only for readability so we have to mention uh, this comment at the time when we are going to implement any logic or implement any special thing so before that if you will uh, use this you would have the better readability and even if somebody will uh, see your code then he would easily understand that what you have written right so that's it for today so i think this video was really fruitful for you we have covered a lot of things and a lot of important things so hope you have enjoyed so one thing i request to you is uh, you have to subscribe this channel uh, for my inspiration so that uh, in the later point of time i could able to continue this process and uh, free videos i would upload to, for you and uh, like this video and share with the other people and also comment the uh, comment if you have any question for example you want any uh, thing extra so you can uh, write down in the comment section i would definitely reply to you and uh, that's it so thank you thanks for watching